Hey everyone, I'm Debbie from Crossroads Counseling Center. Last two months, I have been talking about how to be a more effective listener and how to be a more effective speaker. And today, continuing with communication, I want to talk about a pattern of communication that couples get into often when they're discussing conflict that really derails their communication. One of the more common patterns that couples engage in is what I call attack defend. Attack defend comes into play when someone is looking to communicate something that they really need or want from their partner or a behavior that they are unhappy with, but they end up expressing that in the form of criticism. When someone feels criticized or attacked, naturally they defend themselves. That's human nature, right? So they become defensive. But the problem is, is that once we enter into this pattern of attack defend, it becomes this vicious cycle, right? That just kind of continues on. And of course, no one ends up feeling heard or understood. And certainly a couple is going to be unable to come to a resolution for this conflict once they get in this cycle. So let me talk a little bit more about criticism and what that looks like. So criticism comes into play when, again, we're looking to express something to our partner that we want or need from them, but what we end up doing is attacking their character as a whole or talking about a personality defect instead of a specific behavior that we're having an issue with. So let me give you an example. We often end up using words like, you're so, right? And we may say something like, you're so lazy, you're so mean, you're so disrespectful. And when we say things like that, it feels like attack and criticism because what we're essentially doing is pointing out character flaws and personality defects of our partner. And again, we're attacking their character as a whole. Another really common way that couples engage in criticism is by using words like always or never. So think about how often you may have said something to your partner like, you never listen to me, you always leave the dirty dishes out on the counter, right? When we use these broad general words like always or never, again, we're attacking our partner's character and that's what makes it feel like criticism. So what we wanna do instead is we want to talk about a specific behavior or a specific incident. Those I statements that I talked about last time in terms of being an effective speaker really become important because it can be really helpful to use an I statement and tell your partner how you're feeling. The other important thing to counteract criticism is state what you're looking for from your partner by stating a positive need. And what I mean by positive need is tell your partner what you do want from them rather than what you don't want. Because again, this comes off in a much softer, gentler way and will ward off that defensiveness. So for example, your partner often is late coming home and doesn't let you know. What you can say that states that in a positive need is, I really feel worried when you're running late and I don't hear from you. I would really appreciate it if you could give me a quick call or text to let me know. Much softer, less critical way of stating that that will again help you accomplish what you want, which is getting listened to. Tune in next month. I'll talk a little bit more about the defend part of the pattern and talk about what you can do to ward off defensiveness. See you next time.